Uh, today's video, we're going to do differences of squares, part two. If you remember, when you're looking at differences of squares, if I have a square, let me correct that. If I have a square minus a square, a squared minus b squared, my formula is a plus b times a minus b. So let's use this formula. I've got a slightly more difficult example than last time. What happens if we have a complicated one like that? Now, x plus 1 squared is a square, but the whole plus 1 part in there messes it up and makes it a little more difficult. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute in something for x plus 1. So I'm going to say, let w equal x plus 1. So what I end up with now, is I'm going to take the x plus 1, I'm going to put a w in instead. w squared minus 25. I can solve this, because w is a square. Square root of w squared is w. Square root of 25 is 5. Put a plus on one and a minus on the other. Not quite done yet. Let's make it a little smaller so I get room to work. Now I'm going to take that equation, I'm going to substitute in for my w on each one. So, instead of w, I'm going to put in x plus 1. Go back to plus 5. Do the same thing on the second one. Instead of w, I'm going to put in x plus 1. I have my minus 5. I can combine like terms in each one. So we now have x plus 6. So 1 plus 5 gives me 6. And on the other side, 1 minus 5 gives me x minus 4. There's my answer. One more quick example of that. If I have a question like x minus 5 squared minus x plus 2 squared, I'm going to use two variables. I'm going to say let w equal x minus 5, and I'm going to say I'm going to use a T. doesn't matter what letters you use. Equal x plus 2. So now I have w squared minus t squared. Well, factor this out. I end up with w plus t and w minus t. Not done yet. I'm going to make myself a little bit more room. Oops. Talking this out of the way a bit. I'm going to substitute in for my W. So I'm going to have... I'll do my W's in blue. X minus 5. Plus... I better put a bracket around this one. T, I'm going to do my T's in red. X plus 2. And then I have, once again in blue, X minus 5, my W, minus my T, which is X plus 2. And the important part we have to remember when we're doing this to multiply this negative sign out. And you should be able to solve the rest of that. <laughs> 